Hey there guys, what's up? This is your host Abhishek, welcoming you back to your own channel AKB. Hope all of you are doing great. Today we are going to take up the topic of Twitter. So I'll tell you guys how to set up your Twitter account and how to get started with Twitter. This session particularly is for those people who are new to Twitter and they're actually a little bit confused about using Twitter. So there are a lot of questions which comes to your mind while you are starting on a new platform, on a new social media platform or a social networking platform as to how easy the app is. Will I be able to uh, use the platform effectively? Is it an effective platform to use? Is it for me or is it only for those who are celebs, who are big shots, who can be on those platforms? So to clear off all those sort of confusion, Twitter is for everyone and anyone can get onto Twitter very easily. So this is one of the sweetest and one of the easiest app for social networking out there on the internet. Some quick facts about Twitter. So Twitter as a social networking platform has almost 316 million people actively using this platform every month. There are almost 500 million plus tweets going around every day so that should ring a bell in your minds as to how effective a platform twitter is and why you should be here one of the best things about twitter is that your messages or tweets go out on the web instantly and you can reach all your followers or the people you have connected to instantly with one tweet so maybe if it is a group or if it is a a uh, group of followers who are following you if you do if you tweet something it reaches out to them instantly unlike other facebook or uh, unlike any other social networking app which actually has a couple of filters to filter the content you're posting on those platforms so which is why twitter is is one of the best uh, places to instantly connect to people apart from this it keeps your messages up to 140 characters which is a limit that keeps your messages or tweets really short crisp and up to the point so guys without much of further wait let's move on to the website and see actually how to get onto twitter and how to set up your account so to do that let's open up your chrome browser let's go to twitter.com yeah, so this is the home page of Twitter where you land up. Now, for the people who are signing up for the first time, new to Twitter, sign up. This is the place where you need to fill up your full name, email address, and the password. And then click sign up for Twitter. Once you click here, it will take you to a page which will show a couple of interest areas which you need to check, like business, politics, sports, etc. So what it does, it what it does is whenever you log into your account it will show up all the trending things in those interest areas so let me log into my account to show what exactly uh, your first page look like looks like yeah so this is your home page or this is the page where you land up after logging in so to set up your settings you need to click on edit profile which will help you get started with the first edits and setting up of your profile this is your profile photo which is of a dimension of 400 cross 400 pixels and which should not be more than 2 mb this is your cover photo which is of a dimension 1500 cross 500 pixels this is a very big space so you better make your cover photo quite attractive because this is the thing which your followers or visitors to your profile first get attracted to after doing that there you fill up your name then your twitter handle this is the place for short description about what the page or business or your profile is all about so you can fill up all the details if you want to give out a link you can also type in a link over there where people can click and move this is your location there you have your website or the link again which you want to associate with your profile then comes the theme colors yeah so you can choose any of these theme colors but doesn't make much of a difference because this is only what you see then comes the birthday 
once you're done click on save changes yeah so this is the basic settings which you have done on the cover page or the first page of your twitter profile to move into more advanced settings or extra settings about your page you need to click on your profile photo up here you'll find an option called settings click on settings and you'll land up on a page where you have all the detailed settings out here so you have your username out here this will be basically a twitter handle which you will use to tweet so once you type in your username it will show if the username is available if it is available it will show a small tick mark against your username which means that you can use this as your twitter handle you can fill up your email id here the language and then the time zone country and video autoplay option click save changes then let's move to security and privacy now this is the most important option this helps you to check all the important aspects of security now login verification is where you get an sms whenever you want to log in so it is like an otp to sign in to your account which is actually advanced security option privacy photo tagging is an option where you allow people to tag you in their photos if you want only your friends to tag you up or you don't want anybody to tag you up in their photos so you can choose the options from here tweet privacy read my tweets so not really required so i have kept it unchecked tweet location is basically a tricky thing if you want to give out your locations from where you are tweeting you can check this option if you are not interested you can keep it unchecked i prefer keeping it unchecked because it it is basically letting others know if you are there at your home or if you are away from home so best thing is to keep it unchecked so people uh, will not know about the location from where you are tweeting yeah personalization option is where twitter follows you uh, through the websites or whatever you are visiting on the website twitter keeps a track or check on that and based on that it gives out add options so i don't prefer twitter keeping a check on whatever websites or browsing i do on the web so i keep it unchecked yeah so yeah this is where anybody can directly message you i keep it checked click on save changes they are good to go password not really required for now cards and shopping now not required mobile yes and this is another important aspect wherein you can check these options basically to get direct mobile intimations or direct mobile notification about all the twitter alerts on your account find friends is where you can find your friends using your email id aol outlook and yahoo you can also import one of your address books to import your contacts and then get going blocked accounts is where people it will show all the people that you have blocked muted accounts you know, yeah, your tweet data is the place if you have tweeted a lot previously basically this is the option for the people who have been using twitter for a long time you can download your previous tweets from here you can give your password and just download it okay so let's move back and i'll show you how to start off your first tweet excited yeah so this is the place where all your tweets are displayed click on tweet to start off your first tweet see it only limits up to 140 characters so you better keep your tweets and your messages crisp and short and up to the content so uh let's type in hashtag my first tweet okay so it's it's as simple as a post you do on any other social networking uh, platform so you can type in whatever you want i'm waiting for the iphone 6s to hit and yeah so what uh, this hashtag does is basically it uh, 
lands you up in the page directly where the topic discussion takes place so for example if i have typed here hashtag uh, iphone so it will take you directly to the page where discussions on iphone 6s is taking place and your tweet will pop up on that page So let me finish the tweet. Me, hi, nickname. Now, as you can see, I've, I'm very close, or I've already crossed my limit of 140 characters, which is why it is showing the red highlight. So, what we can do over here is I'll also tell you a small tweak or way how you can shorten those links which you are giving here on Twitter. So see, the character has exceeded by 17 characters. Now to shorten your tweet, you need to cut down on a few characters and then tweet. So what I can do is remove a few things from here okay so to shorten those links let's quickly go to a website which is called bitly.com now this is a website which helps you or assists you to shorten those websites or links which are giving out on the tweet so let me copy the link and paste it over here simply and then click on shorten now as you can see it has given me a short link to the link which I had supplied click on copy and you can replace it by just pasting the link over here so you can see it's a very short link in comparison to the link which I had provided now again still there is a exceeding character over here now you can shorten it again please connect with me at this link for interesting more interesting vids yeah cool so as you can see the tweet is ready so you can click on tweet and your tweet will be published now the best thing which i suggest people to do is to add photos to your tweet what happens with that is whenever you add a photograph it is displayed along with your tweet so people who will be getting your tweets will be will be more of you know attracted to your tweet or the tweet will easily get their attention another tweak for people who are mostly busy and people who are not using Twitter that often however they want to be active on Twitter is to link their account with their Facebook account. So what happens through this is whenever you link your account with Facebook, Facebook posts onto your Twitter account automatically. So this is where you link your Facebook account with Twitter that is facebook.com slash Twitter. So here link my profile to Twitter so as you can see over here there are a number of options which will be provided to you once you click on link my profile to Twitter there will be status update links photos notes etc so once you check this you are good to go now as you post it, this is the way it will appear to your Twitter account so I posted so and so number of photos albums and then it will give you a link clicking on which it will directly bring you to your uh, posts on Facebook so it is good enough to be on Facebook yet be active on your Twitter account so that's how uh, you can set up your Twitter you can tweet effectively and stay happy so that's all for the Twitter setup and the beginner video for Twitter guys I hope you enjoyed the video I would eagerly wait for you guys to join Twitter and use all the tips and tricks that I explained in the video. Use Facebook to link your Twitter account. Use Bitly to shorten links while you are posting something, some web links to your tweets.
also i would love if you can share the video with all the friends who are wishing or who, are, who aspire to join twitter and who are looking to know how to join twitter give me comments and feedback as they would definitely help me improvise my videos in the forthcoming time stay tuned to my channel i would love if you can give me a thumbs up if you liked the video do subscribe to my channel as i'm coming up with more informative and interesting video in the future by the end of this week i will be posting another video that would deal in pest control and how can you do effective pest control at home without spending extra bucks for pest control so stay tuned to my channel keep healthy keep rocking akb signing off for now bye bye